actress who died in the recent days. Hi, I'm Yami. You're watching Hollywood Culture. Scoey Mitchell, American actor and comedian. Scoey Mitchell, who is famous for his role in Barefoot in the Park, passed away on the 19th of March 2022. Before his appearance on Barefoot in the Park, he started his career as a stand-up comedian. Scoey also worked in TV shows like Police Story, Rhoda, Lou Grant, Me and Mrs. C, Voyage of the Yes, Cops, and also worked on game shows like Match Game and Tattle Tales. He also hosted his own show, The Scoey Mitchell Show. Alan Hopgood Alan Hopgood was an Australian actor and screenwriter known for writing the screenplay for the film Alvin Purple. Alan passed away on the 19th of March 2022. He also acted on TV shows such as Bellbird, Prisoner, and Neighbors. Alan also worked in movies like My Brilliant Career, The Blue Lagoon, and Road Games. He died of prostate cancer at the age of 82. He also wrote a book on his experience with surviving prostate cancer titled One Man's Journey. Ralph Riak Actor Ralph Riak, best known for his work in BBC's One Scotland's comedy drama Hamish Macbeth, died on the 20th of March 2022. Additionally, he appeared on TV shows like Mosley, Peak Practice, Dr. Finlay, and Tutti Frutti. Ralph also worked in movies like The House of Mirth, Braveheart, Copying Beethoven, and Cloud at Last. He died at the age of 86. No cause of death was disclosed by his family. Lawrence Dane Canadian actor Lawrence Dane was best known for his work in movies and TV series like Running, For the Record, Scanners, and Rituals, passed away on the 21st of March 2022. His other TV series included Mod Squad, Mannix, and Bonanza. Lawrence died at his home in Niagara on the Lake and is survived by his wife, Laurel Dan. Paul Herman American actor Paul Herman, who is most famous for his work in movies and shows like The Sopranos, Goodfellas, and The Irishman, died on the 29th of March 2022. His other hit movies were Casino, Crazy Heart, and American Hustle. For his performance in American Hustle, Paul won the Screen Actors Guild Award and the Critics' Choice Award. Michael Imperioli, his The Sopranos co-star, confirmed his death. The 76-year-old Paul died on his birthday. Jimmy Wang Yu Taiwanese actor Jimmy Wang Yu, who is super famous for his work in Hong Kong movies like Golden Swallow, One-Armed Swordsman, and The Chinese Boxer, died on the 5th of April, 2022. It was his entrance into Hong Kong movies that led to the emergence of legends such as Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee. Jimmy was suffering from a chronic illness at the age of 79. Nehemiah Persoff The late actor Nehemiah Persoff was known for his roles in movies like Some Like It Hot, An American Tale, and Yentl. Nehemiah passed away on the 5th of April, 2022. He started his acting career after serving in the U.S. Army during World War II. He appeared in over 200 television shows, films, and plays throughout his acting career of over 50 years. His wife, jewelry designer Thea Persoff, died in February of 2021 after more than 70 years of marriage. He is survived by his four children. Uwe Baum German actor Uwe Baum, who is best known for his work in movies like Moritz, Dear Moritz, Yasemin, Herzlich Willkommen, died on the 9th of April, 2022. He made his acting debut with the movie I Can Also Build an Arc in 1973 at the young age of 11, with a career spanning over 49 years. He appeared in more than 70 films and television shows. Uwe Baum died at the age of 60. No cause of death was revealed by his family. He is survived by his wife, actress Nina Held and their one child. Akira Takarada Japanese film actor Akira Takarada, who was best known for his work in the Godzilla film series, passed away on the 15th of March 2022. Akira also worked in movies like The Last War, King Kong Escapes, and Dance With Me. Akira died of pneumonia at the age of 87. He is survived by his daughter, singer Michiro Kojima, 
Vladimir Snovak, Polish actor Vladimir Snovak, who appeared in movies like The Ring of Queen Anne, Million is Allure, and The Hourglass Sanitarium, passed away on the 16th of March 2022. He died of natural causes at the age of 80. Vladimir is survived by his wife, actress Helena Kowalska. To keep watching our videos, please subscribe to Hollywood Culture.